This is the Nebraska Women's Basketball Show. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here in Lincoln, strap it in, everybody. It's going to be a great finish. Hyvee down the right lane line. Can she finish? Yes, she can. Sam Hyvee. You just keep going. Shelly will take a three and buries it. You betcha. What a big time hit. Amy Williams pumping her fist. Whoa, Jazz Shelley, you got 12. That is the toughest play we've seen Jazz Shelley make. Nebraska knocks off league leading Indiana. The Huskers knock off fifth break Indiana tonight in Lincoln 72 to 55. The Huskers pull the upset. Nebraska knocks off Indiana 72 to 55. Can you smell the corn cooking in Lincoln? Here is your host, Matt Coatney, on the Huskers Radio Network. I tell you what, I just listened to those highlights. I mean, that was less than 40 or 24 hours ago. It was so much fun. <laughs> uh, welcome into the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Hour. I am Matt Coatney. Tonight, we are honored to have associate head coach Chuck Love sitting in for Amy Williams tonight. We're going to talk about that great win over Indiana last night. We'll take your calls at 402-413-2400, 402-413-2400. That's also our text line. Chuck, love, welcome to the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Hour. Now, it's been at least two years since you've been on this show. It's been about two years, Coach. Uh, you know, I'm always honored to sit up here with you and talk women's hoops. So, uh, just like you said, listening to those highlights and Listening to you and Grisha uh, get all excited, got me all excited again about the game and want to look at the replays and everything. So, uh, yeah, it's good to be here once again. Uh, so the Huskers beat number five Indiana last night, 72-55. My phone didn't stop blowing up mm -hmm. till 1 a.m. Yeah. Did your phone blow up last <laughs> night? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, a lot of people just reaching out saying congratulations and – uh, you know, upset and all that great stuff. So I, I it just I heard from people all over the country, and it was only the uh, third time Nebraska, as a program, had ever knocked off a top five team. Uh, I called all three of these. The first one was Nebraska in 2005 in an epic, epic game in triple overtime, yeah. beat number two Baylor mm -hmm. the year that they won their first national championship. We were one of three teams to beat them, and the second one. Uh, Nebraska beat number five LSU the year the Huskers went undefeated in the regular season in 09. Uh, the Kelsey Griffin team, that was Van Chancellor. That yeah. was three straight final for yeah. LSU. And then last night, Indiana sure. coming off an Elite Eight. That's Everybody right. back. Ranked fifth. Did you guys take <laughs> a moment to understand what y'all accomplished last night? I mean, that's a huge win. It was a huge win. Um, just credit to our, our players just having that that hunger to get back. We knew um, at their place, uh, we let one slip. Uh, we played we played okay, not solid, not a 40 minute game, but this time we wanted to just come in and, and just bring the fight to them. We felt like going there, we were a little timid. Um, just their physicality got to us, but our girls was just ready to go just from the beginning and um, really locked in on the, de on the defensive end. And I felt like that just triggered our offense to be more a little bit more aggressive as well. Um, um, on the offensive side of the ball. You, you brought up defense, and I want to talk about it. As a, a little bit of context, the Huskers lost back in January the 13th at Indiana. Close game. Sam Hybe got hurt early in the fourth quarter of that game. It was a, a, the, the score got a little bit away, 72-65, but it was a one-possession game very late. But let's talk about the defense last night. All right, so Grace Berger, who – is my favorite player who doesn't play for Nebraska yeah. in the league was tough. She had 20 points, but didn't have a lot of help That's because right. their other starters, Allie Patberg, Nicole Cardano Hillary, Alexa Goulbay, Keandra Brown, they combined to go 11 of 49 yes. and one of 19 from the three point line. Your team, Chuck Love, held Indiana to eight second quarter points, eight fourth quarter points. And you held Indiana to two of 23 <laughs> three-pointers. I mean, that's that's ice cold. You talked about the defense. What was the key to putting up those kinds of numbers? Uh, once again, just making them feel uncomfortable. You know, just the moment they step on the floor, they're bringing a the basketball up. They're very um, 
well coached team. Uh, yeah. uh, Terry does a really uh, great job with their offense, just running um, different sets to get their players the basketball and scoring areas where they're great. Um, Berger, um, you know, she has an elite uh, mid range pull up. Uh, we wanted to pressure her up a little, you know, put different bodies on her. Um, you know, Bella at times was, was on there. Um, Izzy, I believe, uh, Jazz, Ruby. I mean, there was just different bodies uh, we threw at Berger, but just to let them feel our pressure, um, you know, from, you know, full court uh, the entire game. And I felt like that was um, kind of our game plan. If you'd like to talk to associate head coach Chuck Love, 402-413-2400 is the number on our text line in a regular texter, Art in Los Angeles says, hi, Matt, ask Coach Love how he feels about my Final Four prediction. Now, Art's been saying <laughs> since back in November, Chuck, that the Huskers are going to the Final Four. Also, he wants to know what they did to Indiana. It's not only a Final Four prediction, it will be reality. So so uh, proud of these Huskers. You know, one of the things that the assistant coaches don't get enough credit for is the scout they have. Mm -hmm. And, you know, each of the assistant coaches gets assigned a team. From your perspective, not just necessarily about the Indiana game, but how how does it change your approach when you've played a team just a month ago? Do you do you keep the same scout? Do you make a lot of tweaks usually? How many tweaks were made last night from, from what happened in, in January in Bloomington? Yes, there was a couple of tweaks. Um, and Art, I like that. Um, that's kind of our <laughs> prediction too. Hopefully we can get there as well. Uh, that's our plan. So, um, you know, there was a, a few adjustments, but once again, I felt like the biggest thing was just to come out and throw the first punch, you know, be aggressive, which I don't know if that happened because I think we got down 8-2, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm, yeah. But um, we kept fighting. That's one thing about our team. They're very resilient. Um, they're going to keep fighting. But defensively, once again, just to apply a little bit more pressure, uh, times where we want to trap the basketball. Um, there was times where we just wanted to gap and under. There was times we wanted to just switch our ball screen defense up or trap the post. Um, just keep them off, off balance a little bit. And I thought that's what we did. Visiting with associate head coach Chuck Love of Nebraska Women's Basketball. Tonight on the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Hour, let's head to the phones, 402-413-2400 on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. Down in Gage County in Beatrice is Brad. Brad, you're on with Coach Chuck Love. Hey, Coach. I've never, never met you, but I've been a longtime fan of Huskers women basketball, as Matt will tell you. I just got... Several observations uh, from last night. Number one, the crowd was tremendous. And, and what you're seeing now is people realizing that women's basketball at Nebraska, again, is, is good basketball, good entertainment, and fun to watch. What I want to do now is salute the fans about the 3,200 that started at preseason, and they do it every year. Mm -hmm. So we call ourselves the core. And I, I want to salute those fans for sticking with the team every year from day one in November, no matter what the record is. That's number one. Number two, I want to thank you and the rest of the coaches for your sacrifices because I know you give up a lot. You know, like right now, you probably should be having dinner with your family, right? And you're on the radio with us. I spent a lot of time with Coach Osborne and the assistants with uh, the football team when I was a student manager. So I know the sacrifices the long hours you're putting in for us, and we appreciate that. Number three, the players are still hungry. That's right. Um, what we saw last night was pure joy after the end of the game and the love that they share together. But then you get to the press conference, they're all business, they're calm, they're talking about what they did, and they're looking forward to the next, the next game. So that's why this team is going to go to the NCAA. That's why I am – Starting to believe in art. <laughs> um, but definitely we're going to the NCAA tournament. And just keep doing what you're doing, and thank you for what you do. Brad, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And, um, yes, there is a lot of sacrifices, but no um, other way, no better way to do it than um, with the group that we have right here. And you're right, Husker Nation is – um, fantastic. You know, they got after it last night and got our girls just kind of pumped up and just made us get that little bit more juice that we needed to pick up full court and do some things that we wanted to do defensively. And you're right, we're a passionate group, but um, off the court, we're pretty pretty much laid back and um, kind of casual on the mic. So, <laughs> But on the court, we get after it pretty passionate. So thank you so much, Brad. I appreciate it. Brad, a longtime fan down there in uh, Gage County, no question about it. We appreciate Brad. Being with us, he's on our Sports Nightly Hotline, brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family. 
Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop financed and buy online at woodhouse.com. On our text line, 402-413-2400, Meg in Omaha says, I love watching the Husker women's team play. Fantastic win last night. I particularly love the tenacity and the ball movement. One question I have is how do you help the players get better at finishing at the rim? <laughs> it seems we miss a lot of shots right at the rim, both driving layups and post shots. Bunnies were hard <laughs> last night, Chuck. Yes, I guess you could blame it on me. I'm the layup coach. No, I'm just You're the, the layup coach. <laughs> I thought no. you were the get back coach. <laughs> no, um, Meg, thank you so much. That's a, uh, that's a great question. And um, yes, we do. Um, once again, tenacity and just always playing really, really tough. And like I said before, with that passion. So sometimes I think we almost get way too excited when we see those layups and just kind of botch them a little bit. We just need to relax and uh, just finish, you know, like we know we can. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to continue to work on that and uh, get better at that. So hopefully next game uh, you'll see a much better percentage uh, from the field goal. Thank you very much, Meg. It's 402-413-2400 is our text line. Visiting with associate head coach Chuck Love on the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Hour tonight. Our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres. Solutions for every field. 402-413-2400 is the number. Let's head up to Douglas County to Omaha. A longtime caller into Sports Nightly. Doc of Rock. Doc of Rock, you're on with Coach Love. Hey, man. Coach Love, good to speak with you. Nice speaking with you as well, Doc. Um, you know, right on. Go Big Red. And uh, the girls, the, the, the young ladies, are so much fun to watch. I mean, the chemistry, the talent, the heart. Uh, and the team's got depth. I mean, half the teams across the country would, would just envy to have the depth that we have. Uh, can't believe we still don't have a ranking yet. I think that's got to change. Mm-hmm. want to hear your comment on that. Um, but lastly, uh, number four, Sam. Yes. Who, who would want to guard her? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, talk <laughs> about ability to create. Right. And drive and just people, you know, looking for their socks. I'll listen to your comments off air. Thanks. <laughs> we, we, yes, Sam is just a um, she's a winner. Um, you know, we always say we thank God for Sam Hybe, Right. Just uh, I don't know if you listened to the press conference the other night, but um, she she made the comment about Izzy Bourne telling her that, you know, it's your time. It's your quarter. Uh, we know what Sam can do. We love putting the ball in her hands, and we don't think a lot of people can stop Sam on the basketball court, um, and we're just thankful to have her. Um, going to uh, the whole ranking deal, you know, you know, it's, it's easy to say that we don't, you know, we don't see those things or look at that um, because we do, but at the same time, I do think that, you know, um, you know, we just love – just having that underdog mentality, that chip on our shoulder, just to go out there and do what we do and just use our depth and keep playing for the joy of the game. And uh, if those rankings come out and we're in the top 25, great. If not, we'll just keep grinding away. But I really appreciate all the support. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep plugging away and go Big Red. Doc, we appreciate it. That's 402-413-2400 is our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. And also our text line. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office, setting in for Amy Williams tonight. Associate Head Coach Chuck Love, I'm Matt Coatney, 402-413-2400. On our text line, we have a question. Don't have a name on this person, but they said, can you explain what was going on with the game clocks? Okay, so there were three major stoppages in the game last night. And I think most fans have no idea that the game officials on the floor control that. They have wireless packs on their belt loops, one of the officials, if he seals, had one that was malfunctioning. And uh, I think, and you know, sometimes I forget about that also. I think back to my days in college, I had a part-time job being a clock operator. You know, I, I ran the book, I was a PA announcer. But how long ago, Chuck, was that that they started having those wireless packs? Oh, that's a great question. I, I mean, have no I mean idea. it's been, it, I mean, it's not been like a couple years ago. It's been more than a few years. Yeah, but, for sure. But, I mean, and, and, you know, you get down 
lower levels of, of college basketball, Division Two, Division Three, they don't have that. But um, I, you know, I know Indiana was pretty upset about it. Yeah. Uh, from my standpoint, a couple of times could have affected the Huskers. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. it, it, it did kind of stop momentum last night, didn't it? It did. It did for sure. Um, and like you said, it always you always want the momentum to keep going, but it did. It affected both teams. So, you know, one team can't keep playing and the other can uh, can stop. So, I mean, you it affects both teams. So I know the game clocks was an issue, but you know it is what it is. It is the same for both teams. Yeah. But fans, if you're watching a game pay close attention to the officials you'll see a little pack yeah. kind of looks like a cell phone on their hip and sometimes they put it behind them but the whistle is in is working in conjunction with the pack so that's where that goes uh, i have another uh text on our text line at 402-413-2400 for coach chuck love pretty proud of the husker women little upset they aren't ranked yet but as long as we are winning that's awesome go big red have you heard my rant on ranking <laughs> no i haven't okay so hear. you know a few years ago everybody th- was all about the rpi mm-hmm. and the rpi was kind of flawed and so when the committee got in the room the rpi was a you know t- metric they could use but men's and women's basketball went to the net evaluation tool a few years ago and it has been in my view extremely accurate nebraska mm-hmm. climbed two points in the net last night by beating beating indiana to go to 18th and Indiana fell a couple of spots to 17th and if you watch that game last night that looked like the 17th and 18th ranked I mean even teams one spot away from each other and if I'm going to evaluate the NCAA tournament which is what we're all trying to get to the AP rankings well it's good for perception and I'm not trying to say that it's you know the AP rankings aren't going to get you in the NCAA tournament the net evaluation tools look pretty closely at isn't it that's right yep it's very accurate. Um, you know, that's something that we talked about that goes into um, scheduling, you know, right before in our non-conference, scheduling those games. And we know it's very important to uh, really strategize who we're scheduling um, so we can have a great net ranking. And right now, you said we're at 18. I didn't see that we went up two spots. 20 to 18. Yeah. Really? How about that? Hmm. So, you know, take that AP voters. But, <laughs> hey, I know a lot of AP voters. But a lot of times the rankings are – are more about what you've done year after year as much as what you're doing this year. But yep. appreciate it. The Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. That's Associate Head Coach Chuck Love. I'm Matt Coatney. The Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show returns in just a few moments. Ginger ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light sells it here. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. Hey, Bud Light! I'm ready! Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy your response, playing Heiser Bush, Bud Light Beer, and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Hey Husker fans, it's that time of year again. Don't miss your chance to get a first look at this year's Husker football team. Tickets are on sale right now for the annual Red and White Spring Game on Saturday, April 9th. We need you to help pack Memorial Stadium. To secure your tickets or for more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call the Husker Ticket Office at 402-472-3111. Go Big Red. Hey folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine, your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. You're in the driver's seat with Woodhouse. Shop, finance, and buy your next vehicle your way. From the comfort of your home at Woodhouse.com or one of our 19 dealerships, we've got something for everyone. From new stylish SUVs that blend comfort and capability or a pre-owned truck packaged for durability and everyday functionality. When it's time to upgrade your drive, shop confidently with Woodhouse. Serving customers and communities since 1975. This is Woodhouse. 
Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. It's Ford Truck Month. Now's the time to get a great deal on the only trucks built Ford Tough. Work or play, get after it in a new Ford F-150 or Super Duty truck. Get behind the wheel of a new Ford Maverick pickup. And get after any adventure with deals on Ford Ranger. Take advantage of our best offers on the full Ford lineup of trucks. But you better get going. These deals won't last. Get to Ford Truck Month. Let's get after it. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTAC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. See beyond traditional security with Kidwell. Kidwell's experts collaborate with its data cabling and IT teams to design and install surveillance camera systems that integrate with your network, are easy to manage, and can be accessed from anywhere. The Kidwell team assures every piece of technology performs seamlessly and creates greater confidence and a higher level of protection for your business and staff. From video surveillance to information technology to data cabling, see beyond to what's possible at KidwellInc.com. Hey Husker fans, this is Anne-Marie from the Nebraska Beef Council. Just like the big red wins on the court, you can win at the dinner table with great tasting beef. From steaks and roasts to ground beef and kebabs, there are countless ways to create a meal that will have your family cheering for more. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for easy beef recipes, cooking tips, and meal inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Brought to you by Nebraska's beef producers and their beef checkoff. I'll tell you, friends, when you're the play-by-play voice of a team that knocks off number five, it's <laughs> fun hosting the show. That's associate head coach Chuck Love, and I'm Matt Cotney. Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Hour rolls on. Coach Love setting in for Amy Williams tonight. Our phone number is 402-413-2400. That's also our text line, 402-413-2400. The Huskers knocked off fifth-ranked Indiana last night. Third time in school history the Huskers had won a game against – uh, team ranked in the top five. Back on our text line, Denny in Omaha says, how about a shot fake <laughs> for Alexis? She would be unstoppable. Talking about Alexis Markowski, the six foot three freshman from right here in Lincoln, six-time Big Ten freshman of the week. Shot fake for Alexis Markowski. Denny, that's a that's a, um, a great statement right there. You know, everybody, it's it's everything goes back to habit. We're creatures of our uh, – of our own habits, right? And I think Lex have always, you know, planted Pius uh, here in Lincoln. Um, I feel like she's always been a lot bigger than a lot of um, players that she went against. So she was able to just go up and go score. And um, now you're right, it's time to adjust. And, you know, I still think Lex is unstoppable right now um, without the shot fake, um, doing great things for us. But you're right, we're all, we always uh, can improve and uh, there's always room for growth. So most definitely gonna work on that shot fake, Denny. How much drool was on the floor first time you got to work with Alexis Markowski in a Husker <laughs> uniform oh, it was last a, summer? Yeah, it was exciting. It was exciting. Her passion, um, you know, her her just her her will to win, uh, her her just to just everything about Lex, her personality, um, just coming out there on the on the floor, 
just, it was amazing, you know, and it was very um, infectious. I think it just brought, you know, everybody up. Um, that's just what Lex does. You know, she might crack a joke or something like that, make someone laugh, but just working with her, we knew, um, even in the recruiting process and just watching Lex um, throughout high school, that she was gonna be a special player um, for us and can do some really good things for us the way we like to go inside and, um, you know, pound people down low. So, uh, like I said, there's a lot of room for improvement, um, but that's with everyone. But was so excited to get on the court with Lex and, you know, we're gonna continue to work and get better. I have made it my personal mission in life to make sure that everybody in the conference knows she should be the Big Ten <laughs> freshman of the year. And I think she's got a good chance at it. You said it, Cole. I didn't. Hey, no. You well, said... no, I can't say that. <laughs> no, I, no, I'm going to make that my mission. Hey, our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions. For every field, 402-413-2400. This is the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show. Setting in for Amy Williams tonight, Associate Head Coach Chuck Love. Parker from Bennington on our text line says, pretty sweet that the Husker women are winning games. Also feel like they should have been ranked a long time ago. Go Big Red. Does the team talk about this, like in the locker room? I mean, is this something that <laughs> Kendall Coley and Ani Stewart are talking about? I mean, is this anything that ever comes up, rankings? I don't hear it. You know, if they if they are talking about it, I really don't hear it. I don't hear um, it either, but I'm not around them all the time. You yeah. hear around them all the time. Yeah, we appreciate all these texts, too. Just everyone thinking that we should be ranked in top 25 is awesome. But uh, once again, we're going to just keep working, you know, and uh, it, it'll all work itself out at the end. Back on our text line, don't have a name here. It says, can you talk about the players who are setting out this season, some strengths and some things they need to work on? Pretty regularly, we get asked about Tatiana Popa. I mm -hmm. think she... Uh, draw some intrigue from fans because they see this very tall, yeah. angular person sitting on the bench. Naila Dillard is out injured this year, and Trinity Brady has been um, out injured most of the season. So generally when I see that question, they're talking about Popa. Tell yeah. us a little bit about her. Yeah, so Popa, uh, just, you know, first thing that comes to mind is just work ethic. Um, that kid has a tremendous work ethic. She's going to get in the um, – in the gym and, um, you know, just work. You know, you, we walk in sometimes, I'm in the office and, you know, late nights and she's downstairs on the treadmill running or she's getting shots up. One thing about Pope is, you know, she can stretch the floor. She's 6'5". Um, Kay Kane was 6'5", done a great job in our program blocking shots, um, you know, not relying on doubles in the post. You can just have a 6'5 player down there and just being able to use her length and block some shots. But um, once when I think about Popa, just her work ethic and she's going to continue to get better. Um, once again, a lot of room for improvement, um, but she moves well up and down the court, uh, but just long and can stretch the defense as well at that five spot. Nebraska 811 says, go dig red before you dig. Always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. This is the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show. Sitting in for Amy Williams tonight, associate head coach Chuck Love. The Huskers are 19-6, and 8-6 and six in Big Ten play with a huge 72-55 win over league-leading Indiana, ranked fifth last night. Huskers will be at Penn State Thursday night at 6 p.m. Central. That means we have a chance of returning from Central Pennsylvania before midnight on Thursday <laughs> night, which I'm always excited about. Yeah. Back on our text line, Matt, this is Brad. Ask Coach Love what kind of boss Amy Williams is. <laughs> so this is what Amy gets for not being That's here tonight. Right. So you get to, so what's, you've been with Amy for? 11, 11 years. 11 years? Yep. Goodness. So going on 11, I'm sorry, 10. This is 10, 10 years, yep, going 10 on years. 11. Yep. So something must be going right there. For sure, yep, something's great. Um, Amy, great coach, uh, great person. Um, Amy's not just the boss, uh, Amy's a friend, uh, she's family. Um, our kids grew up together. Uh, so that's just someone that, you know, I can always rely on. And so to answer your question, Brad, uh, she's a great boss, just great person uh, and great coach. So I'm excited to and just honored to be on our staff with her. I've been on a lot of buses. I've been in a lot of locker rooms. I've been with a lot of coaching staffs. You guys, and I consistently say this, impress me so much with how much respect there is internally mm -hmm. between that group. Because I've never seen a coaching staff where you can just be brutally honest and sure. say, Coach, I think you should have taken a time out there. Or, mm -hmm. hey, we should have helped you with this right here. And it never seems like it's, it's, it's a personal thing. It's to get better. Why is that? 
Uh, just, you know, I just think history. You know, we've been together for, for a long time, you know, a decade actually. So uh, when I came over and made the move to the women's side, um, I made the move with Amy because I knew um, how much, you know, her values and morals and those things. And uh, we have the same values and morals. And, you know, I just feel like, you know, time together and just that trust that was built over time uh, has been amazing. And that's why you kind of see that we can just be brutally honest with each other. It's a family. I can tell you, you guys took me in and, and <laughs> we've been running 402-413-2400 is our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline in North Lincoln. Let's go to Rob. Rob, you're on with Coach Chuck Love. Yeah, Coach, congratulations so far. Thanks, uh, I Rob. got a couple questions. Um, it, this next game kind of makes me nervous. We won the big game. And, I mean, how do you get the girls ready to play Thursday night? Because it seems like, you know, you had a big high, and now, you know, you're going to Penn State, and they don't have a real good record. And just how do you get them ready? And my second question is, uh, not counting the senior class this year in Nebraska, how many Big Ten type players are in the bottom three classes in high school in Nebraska? I know you can't say any names, but just how, I'm sure you've scouted a lot of them. How many do you think are Big Ten caliber players, not counting the senior class in Nebraska? And uh, I'll hang up and listen. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Rob. Hey, thanks so much for that question. And uh, you might have to repeat the second one, but um, um, just to answer your first question, um, so your first question was, well, how do you, so, and, and I was going to ask you about this mm -hmm. big win over the yeah. fifth ranked team in the country. You're, you're, you're on a high. Now you're going against a non-ranked yep. team that you've already beaten once. Yeah. So is there any kind of thought that, you know, there could be a letdown here? How do you get your team mentally ready to go say, Hey, you know, this Indiana game didn't mean anything yeah. if we aren't ready for Penn state. Well, first of all, there, there's no uh, cupcake uh, games here in the Big Ten. Um, they're in the Big Ten. It's, I mean, it's the Big Ten for a reason. And Penn State is a very, very good team. They're playing very well right now. Um, they're doing some different things as well, going a little bit smaller now, um, having pretty much five, like two forwards out there, or you can say five guards pretty much. Um, so there's some adjustments that we're going to most definitely have to make. But our girls know it was a battle um, even here. It was a close game in the fourth quarter. Um, they started to do some things uh, down the stretch. And we had to uh, make some adjustments. But um, I think our girls will be ready. Um, you know, we, we'll get into practice tomorrow and watch some film and uh, prep and have the girls ready to go um, when we travel down uh, to Penn State. But we always know every game, especially on the road, um, you're going to have to make free throws, make layups, and, uh, you know, to win a tough uh, game on the road. Rob's other question was about in the state of Nebraska, the mm -hmm. lower classes. Yeah. Um, so I, I assume he means get away from Class A. How many, and it, you know, he was like, you know, no names. He knows you yeah. can't give any names. But what type of talent is Big Ten type talent in the state in the lower level or the lower classes in Nebraska? You know, I remember, you know, as, as a point, I remember one time there was a, a player 20 years ago from a cool junction that mm -hmm. was was killing everything in class d1 people are like why you know why isn't nebraska yeah. looking at him i'm like have you seen courtney paris sure. you know what i'm saying yeah. you know i would uh, quit it last night you have to have players that are going to have to guard grace Berger that's right or alexa Goulbay. so what kind of talent is there you know in the lower levels in nebraska uh, high school girls basketball right now at that level yeah because you got you got somebody really good and Allison Widener this sure. year. That's right. And a lot of people felt like that she was not a um, Big Ten caliber uh, player. So I think, Rob, to answer your question, um, I think it changes. I think things change. Um, you know, those some of those kids are like 14 and 15 if you're talking about that. And, you know, you see them at 16, 17, they're a different player, a different person. So um, I would have to say if I had to take give you a number um, right now, mm, potentially – Three, two to three. Two to three. You know, yep. That's pretty good. Yeah. For a state this size, with yeah. population base, when you start comparing it against Minnesota, which has a major city in Minneapolis yeah. or in Illinois yeah. or something like that. Rob, great question. Dorothy Lynch home style and light and lean dressing. Endless flavor abilities. Matt Coatney with associate head coach Chuck Love on the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show. Top of the hour. We'll have uh, hour two of Sports Nightly. Uh, Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie will be here, and Jessica will have an interview with Bella Cravens that she uh, saw that. That, that she that she recorded. So, <laughs> stay tuned for that. Okay, so on our text line, Roger says Huskers win. 
What a game. Number three, Widener made a push in the first half. The number four, Hybe, did her thing in the fourth quarter. Go Big Red. Let me tell you what, we were just talking about lower classes in high school in Nebraska. They don't come much better than Allison Widener out of Humphrey St. Francis. And I want to ask you a question to, to kind of ping off what Roger said. Okay. Um, when Nebraska was playing at home back during those four straight games, Amy Williams told me in the game, I think it was, I might have the game wrong here. Mm -hmm. I want to look at my notes here real quick because I, I wrote it down right now. Um, the Rutgers game. Okay. I think it was the Rutgers game uh, where Widener and Markowski had the big fourth quarter in the game. Or, or no, the Penn State game. Penn State game. It yep. was the Penn State game. That's who Nebraska's playing. They combined for 18 points down the stretch, and Widener had 14. And Amy Williams said on this show that you were the one who was encouraging Allison Widener. Hey, you can get to the rim. Yeah. You can come off the bounce. For well, sure. Do you remember saying that? I do remember. Tell, do. tell me about what brought that up. Um, there was a time where I remember Allison, she was a little timid. And it's funny because last night she was making some of those pull-ups. You know, sometimes she'll get the two feet, do a turnaround jumper. Um, but I always tell her, like, she's a great athlete. She was a great track athlete, basketball. Like, she's just a great athlete. And um, I feel like Allison can get to the basket at will. And I just told her to be aggressive, you know, get to the backboard, um, put the ball up there, and uh, let's just see what happens. And I remember – the next play, um, she attacked the basket, got to the rim, and uh, just like Roger said, she just uh, made a push, you know, um, not just in last night's game, but she's been doing it all year for us. And once again, that kid, a lot of people kind of underestimated Allison, but uh, she bleeds red. That kid, she wants to win. She's, she is a winner. 402-413-2400 if you'd like to visit with Associate Head Coach Chuck Love. I'm Matt Coatney. We'll have more with the coach. You're texting your calls in just a few moments. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's Corn and Soybean Farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The university has a new undergraduate business and law major. Students majoring in business and law are learning to use legal knowledge to better solve business challenges. They are also gaining skills in regulatory compliance, financial services, securities regulation, and corporate social responsibility. Upon graduation, they will boost the state's talent pool in these critical areas of expertise. Hey Husker fans, join us tomorrow at 6 p.m. for a special hour of sports nightly. Dr. Lawrence Chatters, the Nebraska Executive Associate Athletic Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, joins Jessica Cootie and Huskers men's gymnast, Khalil Jackson. Midway through hour one, Dr. Chatters will take your live calls as we discuss Black History Month right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Tune in your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or via the Huskers mobile app. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. 
As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he's so cold. The furnace is out again. But wait, he sees an opening. SOS, SOS, he screams and calls 391-2336. SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer. Boy, he made the right call today as SOS is already on the way. SOS is your trustworthy company since 1950, and with Luxair, you get free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call 391-2336 or visit SOSHVAC.com today. If I won one of the eight new trucks the Nebraska Lottery is giving away in Trucks and Bucks 2022, I'd be off-roading all the time through muddy riverbeds, across dusty prairies. I'd treat that truck like a tank. I'd be merciless. Can I ride along? Only if you wear shoe covers to protect the carpeting. Promise not to eat or drink anything inside the cabin. Polish the dashboard when you leave. Trucks and Bucks is back, and you can win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds, one in 336,000. Squire swings and hammers this one. Deep left center field, and it is good! A home run for Squire, and Nebraska takes a 1-0 lead in the seventh. Nebraska softball opens week two of the season, Thursday afternoon at New Mexico State. Pre-game coverage begins at 3.50, first pitch at 4 on the Huskers radio network, Huskers.com, and the official Nebraska Athletics app. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Hello, I'm Tom Osborne. And I'm Coach Frost. Statistics prove that youth who are mentored and receive support and guidance from a caring adult show measurable improvement in academic achievement, motivation to succeed, and hope. Over the past 30 years, Teammates has served more than 43,000 youth. And right now, there are more than 1,000 waiting for a Teammates mentor to visit with them once a week in school. For more information on how you can help the Teammates Mentoring Program, please go to teammates.org and thank you for supporting our youth. Sponsored by Nebraska Crossing Fast Cash App. Welcome back to the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show. Matt Coatney and the associate head coach, Chuck Love, with you. Hour two of Sports Night Lady Night. Greg Sharp will be back in this chair with Jessica Cootie, and uh, they will have a uh, guest, Brendan Stye, and uh, also from the Nebraska Women's Basketball Team, Bella Craven. So stay tuned for that in hour two of Sports Nightly. From our text line at 402 413 2400 says, hi, Matt and Coach. It's Paula Buck from Omaha. Matt, thanks for all you do to keep me in the game when I can't make it to the game. Coach, what player has been the biggest surprise this year? Go Big Red. Mm, Great question. Great question. Um, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to just have to go with the freshmen. I'm going to have to say Lex and Allison, just because they're freshmen. There's always a learning curve, and um, they're the ones that, you know, surprise me the most. It's sometimes tough when... You know their potential, but you put them, put them in college basketball against yeah. grown women sometimes. It'd be a little different. <laughs> That's it. Paula, great comments. Thank you very much. Also on our text line, I uh, got no name here. Coach Love, thanks. For our Huskers, I am a fan from Alliance and cheer for every team from NU. This team has heart and talent. It's good to have Nebraska talent. Amy Stevens and Jordan Hooper warm our hearts. Work havoc helps push talent you know fans tell me this all the time Mm -hmm. that the team plays with joy but they also can see the work ethic and that's I mean you can't coach that can you no I mean you can but uh you can't some of it is instilled in them um at a younger age but that's Amy Williams Amy Williams is uh all just work her work ethic is um unbelievable and I just think it um just our kids just shadow what Amy Williams bring every single day 402-413-2400 402-413-2400 is our text line. It's also our Woodhouse Auto Family hotline sponsor. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Also on our text line says, This text is from Nio Brera Lee. I believe for NU to go deep in the NCAA number three needs more playing time. Her effort demands that, in my opinion. That's Allison Widener. Oh, yeah. You know, Allison Widener would be a fan favorite 
if she was from Kota Kinabalu, Malaysia. <laughs> but she's a small town girl that's right. from Nebraska, and that just helps everybody get behind her. But Widener has certainly made a name for herself, and uh, you know she she's earned playing time. Well deserving, well deserving, and uh, once again, and she'll always get those opportunities. And like I said, once again, she's a kid that surprised us um, just from the day she stepped on on the basketball court um, during the summer and uh, just done a fantastic job for us. That's the associate head coach, Chuck Love. I'm Matt Coatney, 402-413-2400. We'll have more of your calls and your texts with Coach Love when the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show returns in a few moments. Happy Monday, everybody. Yay! Sure glad the weekend is over. I know. Nothing's better than a new work week. Yay! The proceeding was a dramatization, but it could happen now that a Monday night Powerball drawing has been added. Along with the Wednesday and Saturday night drawings, now you can also win Monday night millions. Who knows? It may change everyone's view of Monday. Let's have a three-hour Monday meeting. Yay! Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. Top prize odds won in $292 million. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help us with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. J.D. Power ranked Shelter Insurance number one in customer satisfaction among auto insurers in the central region and number one in price. See agent Nick Voorhees or Jim Mowinkle in Gretna or Travis Hawk in Scotts Bluff today. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. The Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show rolls on. Hour one of Sports Nightly. Hour two, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie will be here with their guests, Brendan Stye and Bella Cravens from Nebraska Women's Basketball. Uh, still have a, a couple of moments for your calls and texts at 402-413-2400 on our Sports Nightly hotline. Brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplify car buying to save you time. Shop financed by online at woodhouse.com. When I knew you were coming to do the show, mm -hmm. there's one question I wanted to ask you about um, because fans don't see this. The work I see you put in with players is always very impressive for me. And I know you've worked a lot with the post through the years, and that's mm -hmm. your position especially, but you always get in extra shots with Jazz Shelley and Ashley Scoggin, and they work a rotation around the outside arc. Mm -hmm. You feed them the ball. You're encouraging them. And, you know, they, they are just shooting the ball so well this year. Jazz had a big game last night. Scoggin has had a great season. It just is one of my favorite things to watch whenever you're giving that individual attention to them, but you're doing it with two of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, when did that start and how much how much do you coach them because to me they're such natural shooters mm -hmm. are you just kind of there encouraging them or 
Do you get a lot of, do you ever give like technical advice or, or how's that work? Most definitely. Well, well, both. I would have to say they are just natural, just great shooters and uh, can't pat myself on the back for that. Um, but they have uh, just done a great job and that's my job to help them on and off the basketball court to always encourage them to empower them. Um, but I will say that started, mm, we made it a routine. It was the first first game, first uh, game of the season that we'll come in uh, right after shoot around and we'll get those shots up. Um, and just try to be efficient with our time. We'll go for about 15, 20 minutes, a lot of shots up, making sure they feel very good. Um, and yeah, there might be a few things where they're like, coach, what's wrong? I, I feel a little off and uh, they'll ask me a few questions. Then I really start watching them and uh, making sure they're not rushing their shots. And I might keep a scout guy um, back uh, just to kind of give them a hand just to contest. Uh, because there might be a team like an Indiana who's going to speed their shot up a little bit. So just trying to make sure they're getting uh, game simulated shots uh, that they'll be getting that night. So, um, but yeah, can't can't take too much credit for that. They're just great shooters. Well, I enjoy watching it. It's I'm pretty lucky. I get to see so many things the average fan doesn't get to see. But I think if if the if the average fan knew how much work the assistant coaches put into trying to make these players better, I think they would be. Very, very impressed. All right, so the Huskers at Penn State, Thursday night, 6 o'clock Central at the Bryce Jordan Center. Jeff Grish and I have pregame at 5.45 p.m. Central. Huskers have already defeated Penn State here in Lincoln. Penn State 3-11. They're at the bottom part of the league. They lost to Rutgers last weekend. First time Rutgers has won a game. You know, we already had the, the question from the caller about how do you motivate your team to play a team you've already beaten this year. So in your mind, I, I think you're going to talk about McKenna Marisa, who had 27 <laughs> points against Nebraska last time. But um, what is the key to sweeping Penn State? Um, defense. You know, it starts with defense. Defense carries. Um, you know, we might not make as many shots as we want to. Hopefully we do. Knock on wood. But um, I think defense, you know, limiting uh, McKenna's touches and, you know, just making sure we do a great job and just being aggressive uh, from the tip. And I think um, if we do that, we'll like the outcome. How tough have the last three weeks been? Because there was the, the COVID health and safety protocol shut down, no games for 12 days. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know about you, but it just feels like a revolving door. It's a game, day <laughs> off, game, day off. And, you know, it, it's got to, to wear on the players a little bit. I mean, it's got to wear on the coaches a little bit. So, you know, just from your standpoint as a – you know, as associate head coach, how tough have the last three weeks been for you? Yeah, it's kind of an NBA schedule, right? Just, right, uh, just, yeah. Just nonstop. But uh, you have to give credit to our um, our support staff, um, our athletic trainers, our nutritionists, um, our, um, our uh, you know, Alex, our strength conditioning coach, just making sure they're always ready and prepared. They're getting a proper recovery, um, the food, the nutrition. Um, I think it's very important. So have to credit them. But uh, once again, our girls are being – very, very um, adamant as far as coming in and just being, you know, um, on top of their game as far as like, hey, we need to recover. We need to get our rest. We need to sleep. But um, it has been. It's been a grind. But we know um, we're on a mission. Um, and we have a goal. So uh, it's very important to continue to stay on that goal and that path. Huskers in Penn State Thursday night in University Park, Pennsylvania. Then Nebraska returns home. Minnesota Sunday, February the 20th at 2 p.m. We need a big crowd for that one. Only two more chances for you to see your Huskers at Pinnacle Bank Arena. How great was that crowd last night against Indiana? Oh my goodness, it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't uh, record-breaking numbers or anything like that, but I felt like the crowd last night was very engaged. Very engaged when they knew we needed that extra uh, just push, you know, defensively or even on the offensive end. Uh, they were just really, really into the game. It was probably the first time I felt that way, and I don't know if it was because of just Indiana or what, but um, it was really good. I thought our fans was in it, and we just love Husker Nation. Chuck Love, thank you for the time. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie, Hour 2 of Sports Nightly comes your way after the break. Thanks. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. United Healthcare believes small businesses are vital to our economy and an important part of our communities. Join United Healthcare in celebrating small businesses. I'm Rob Broomfield, United Healthcare of Nebraska CEO and a graduate of the University of Nebraska. We want to recognize your small business with the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. 
Winners receive radio interviews, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit huskers.com front slash spotlight. United Healthcare, proud partner of Husker Sports. You could win a 2022 Porsche Macken from Porsche Omaha this season. Four lucky Husker fans will have a chance to win a 2022 Porsche Macken if they make a putt on the court at halftime at one of four home men's basketball games this season. Each contestant will receive a pair of tickets, hospitality, and a visit with the broadcast team before one of the home games with Ohio State, Rutgers, Northwestern, or Iowa. For more information and the official rules, go to huskers.com slash putt. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. When you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul. Not to mention their injury list. Cox. We're sports 24-7. Learn more at cox.com slash sports.
Good evening. I'm Greg Sharp. Here is tonight's sports ticker. Head baseball coach Will Bolt announced today that Kyle Perry will start the season opener on Friday against Sam Houston State. Perry missed most of last year while recovering from arm surgery. He did start a regional game down in Arkansas. First pitch Friday set for 6.30 pregame starting at 6 here on the Huskers radio network. College basketball tonight. Several games in the Big Ten Conference tonight. Michigan State battling Penn State in Happy Valley. It's 47-44. Spartans, they're inside the last 10 minutes of that game. Later tonight, Minnesota at number 18, Ohio State, number 15, Wisconsin on the road at Indiana. That one will tip off at 8 o'clock. Top 25 scoreboard, the ninth-ranked Duke Blue Devils lead Wake Forest 42-33, just underway in the second half. Number 20, Texas on top of Oklahoma at the half, 31-29. Later tonight, a big one in the Big East, Providence with their sparkling 21-2 record to take on Villanova. It'll be Kentucky and Tennessee tipping off at 8 o'clock tonight in a battle of top 25 teams. Number 22, Wyoming and New Mexico. Number 23, Arkansas at Missouri. No women's play in the league tonight. Oscars back in action on Thursday at Penn State. We'll hear from Bella Cravens coming up later in the hour. Olympic action is starting up for another day of competition in Beijing. A check of the medal count. Norway is tops with 26. The Russian Olympic Committee has 20. Germany has tallied 18. And the United States now has 17 medals, including seven golds. That's the ticker. I'm Greg Sharp. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Rebound, Widener. Huskers, five-point lead in the ball. Widener right down the middle of the lane, running one hand. Baker's good. Allison Widener. Stand up, Humphrey, Nebraska. He's got seven. Tries to jam it. Shot is blocked by Trey McGowan's. Run down by Webster. What a defensive play. Here comes Trey. Webster, Trey McGowan's to Bryce McGowan's. The drive. Puts it up and in. Holy cow. The offensive play of the year for Nebraska. Craft in the deep right corner. Bounces Great back pass. up. Moriarty scores off the assist. From Monica Stewart and another timeout by Wisconsin. Great activity by Kendall Moriarty. And the return pass on the give and go. The skip pass, deep right corner, three on the way. Trey got it down. The tracer with a tray. Murkowski for three. And Alexis Trikowski. Another Trikowski for Alexis. That she hardly looked. <laughs> Holy cow. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to an hour of Sports Highly following our women's basketball show. Great to hear from Coach Love stepping in for Amy Williams tonight. And wow, Jessica, what a night it was last night at PBA. Huge win for that team. We keep talking about resume building. That one's going to look good. Absolutely. And despite them not having, you know, their best player, that's still, they don't get to number five in the country just by one player. So that's still a a big time win. Uh, Yeah, it was Valentine's Day and, and the crowd was Awesome. I mean, I think that was the loudest I've heard PBA all season long. And and even though the numbers might not have, you know, matched what their biggest total was. I mean, the crowd was so loud and they were electric. It was funny because at the beginning, I I don't know, I didn't I missed the very open of the show, but uh, the PA announcer announced uh, Chuck Love, he, and he said, uh, when he was saying the coaching staff, he said, and Dr. Love for uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day. So I hope Coatney introduced him as such. But, I don't know if he did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, just a, a, a fantastic atmosphere and huge win. And, you know, we talked about, you know, the stretch that if they could get away with, you know, one of those big wins, either Ohio State on the road or Indiana at home, the rest of the games, I mean, not not that anything's easy and you don't overlook anybody, but um, you should feel pretty good about winning out the rest of the way. Well, and that's building momentum. And c- committees like hot teams late. Yes, so absolutely. putting that up will really be neat. Every win you get might bump you a, a line in the NCAA tournament. This team's got a, got a bid. They're, they're, not, they're not in danger of not making the tournament, but it's going to be fun to uh, – to watch them play the next couple weeks. There's not much after they've got four regular season games, all they have left. It, it, it's flown by. It really has, especially once we got to, I feel like we got through the, the COVID lull. I feel like it's just been, it's just flown by. But how about the poem on the graphic last night? Roses are red, violets are blue, top 10 wins. We've got two. Nice. <laughs> that That's was really a, good. Nick Burke 
Nick Burkhart coming up with that uh, poem for you. There you go. I'll keep the rhymes going. Very nice. So good win for them last night. And as you just heard Coach Love with, with Matt Coney last hour, not much rest. They're right back on the road Thursday night at Penn State to take on the Nittany Lions and then back home on Sunday uh, for a game at PBA. Which Sunday, by the way, is their Play for K game, their their pink out pink game, game. Mm-hmm. where they're going to you know be uh, raising awareness for, for cancer research and whatnot. So that's always a big game. It's such a big part of women's basketball this time of year you see it across all of all of division one women's basketball and uh you know teams get involved and and they raise a lot of money it's it's important for each team as they have their their big play for k game and i know they're going to honor some cancer survivors so it's it's a big a big game and it'll be really special inside the arena as well be cool that'll be sunday two o'clock at pba for that matchup we've not had a show since sunday it was a disappointing day for fred hoiberg and the huskers they went to iowa iowa's Really ramped it up. They drilled Maryland last week, and they got all over the Huskers. A lot of turnovers by Nebraska. I was I was hopeful that they could carry the momentum from the Minnesota game, and they did really for the first seven, eight minutes, but then it kind of went south on the team again. Yeah, it just got out of hand in a hurry, and it seems like that seems to happen with this team. Just, you know, make some bad decisions, and then, um, you know, just it feel, I feel like it just snowballs in a hurry. But, yeah, I know they weren't, um, you know, happy with that performance. We'll see if they can uh, – get back to what that energy and effort was that they had against Minnesota. Some sad news for the Husker men's basketball family. Uh, Doc Sadler's mother has passed away. In fact, the coaching staff is down in Arkansas tonight uh, paying their their respects to Doc's mother. So our thoughts and prayers to Doc and his family. Uh, she had been suffering for, for a while, Alzheimer's, and so I know it's tough. Doc was really close with his mom, and so our thoughts go out to them. So some heavy hearts for that team. They're off until Friday. They'll host Maryland Friday night at PBA. Never easy to go through that. A lot of us have lost parents. It's, it's not, not easy to do, and I'm glad that the coaching staff can go down there and support him tonight. Doc was one of the most uh, welcoming people when I first moved here. He was so um, kind to me, and actually I had brought my mom to a, um, well, I guess it was the golf, the golf event, um, I guess one night, and they – um, my mom's mom uh, passed away and, and was dealing with, with dementia and Alzheimer's. And so they kind of talked a lot about that. And yeah, he, she was really meant a lot to Doc. And, you know, he's such a kind person. And, and yeah, in the middle of a season, not easy to deal with. But absolutely uh, echo what you said. Thoughts and prayers out to the family. Another weekly win for Bryce McGowan's. He keeps <laughs> chalking those up. In fact, you've been working on a, a feature on Bryce. It's going to be on the Sunday night TV show for him. Probably better. Take him in as much as we can right now as I don't know that he's back. I think a lot of NBA people are starting to salivate over what they see, which is great progress by him in the last couple months. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, in December we were maybe having this conversation of is he ready, but then, boy, he really took off. And you you can't – if there is – you know the talks that he's in right now. You you got to go right. I mean that's kind of what yeah. you you're, you tell your players unless there's some reason you want to come back. But you know he's he's right up there in, in lottery talks, and so we'll see how he continues to progress. But um, yeah, he's been playing well, and he's been showing. I think you know he he kind of settled a little bit, and and this is I had a long conversation with Bryce the other day, and he kind of came in and was settling a little bit on on just relying on the outside shot, and it wasn't going. But he's kind of realized that he can get to the rim and he can make things happen off the dribble. He can get to the free throw line. So I think that's a big thing is now we're seeing all the different ways that he can, he can score it and uh, be effective no matter who's matching up with him. And so that's, that's what the NBA wants, right? They want that, those versatile guys that can score it from all over. And so that's what we're seeing from him. And, and that's why he's really, his, his stock has really uh, rocketed here in the, you, these last few games. Do you think he's enjoyed his collegiate experience? Can you get a feel for that? Cause he's, He's kind of shy, so he doesn't really talk much about that. Do you get a sense that he's enjoyed being here, yeah, I think playing he, with his brother? I, I think he has. I, I think it obviously is disappointing with, um, you know, Trey suffering the broken foot. But, you know, we hear Jake and KP talk about it every time we have them on. Like, you know, this team is a close team. Despite them, you know, having some adversity, they seem to like each other. I know that a lot of those guys – have really uh, been great to Bryce. And, you know, he talks about Derek Walker being a, a big brother to him, Alonzo Verge. And so I think he likes the, his teammates. Unfortunately, you know, they didn't win as much as he probably would have liked. But let's face it, a guy like Bryce, I mean, you know, you you'd never want to just come to college and just not enjoy it and not take it in. But 
he was going to bigger and better things always, right? right? You know, his potential was always there that he was going to be going to the NBA. And so I think he's, you know, he needed to come to a college where he could get himself to the next level. And, and he has, you know, and, I, and he's still been around his brother and they're super close and now they're getting to play with each other. So, yeah, I mean, I do get the sense that he has absolutely enjoyed his time here. Well, good, because, you know, you, you want somebody to, to leave and have a good feeling for where they were. Kevin Durant was only at Texas for a year. I mean, a lot of guys are one and dunners. Kevin Durant has still been very active with Texas basketball. And so you kind of hope that Bryce has that fondness for Nebraska after he moves on. I just blanked uh, the strength and conditioning coach for Nebraska basketball. Um, I'll look it up. He And Bryce was saying how big that was for him. You know, so you think about all the, the – we've seen a lot of growth out of Bryce in the last he's, you know, yeah, he's few months. Yeah, up. And so, you know, he credited a lot of, of him being ready. You know, he's not made his decision. He's not announced by any means – we're just assuming the way that he's playing, right. he's going to go. But, you know, I think he credits a lot of him being ready to go to the staff here, to, you know, the strength and conditioning, all of, all of the things that have allowed him to take that next step to make that growth here during Big Ten season. Kirk Joseph. Yes, there you go. Kirk yep. Joseph, first year. And he came from coach. the NBA, so he, yeah. he knows kind of what it takes. And so he's been a, a big help for Bryce getting his body right. Yeah. Well, Super Bowl, football's over. Uh, pretty good game. I, you know, it wasn't epic. It's not going to be one that they talk about for years and years and years, but a really close competitive football game on Sunday. That's, that, uh, that's all we asked for, right? And, um, yeah. you know, we just wanted it to be close. And, um, yeah, I mean, good for some of those guys on the Rams that really deserved a, a Super Bowl and good to see them win it. I, I was sad the Bengals didn't win it, but um, it was a good competitive game. And, yeah. We're going to talk to a guy who's played in a lot of big football games. Coming up in our next segment, Brendan Stye, who is the Director of Development for Husker Athletics, is going to be here. He's been working hard to get some money raised for the Go Big project. We're going to get an update from him on how that is going. We'll, I think, have to sneak a question or two in about Husker football with Brendan while we yeah, have him here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Where do you think uh, – well, I guess probably Jeremiah is on Sports Nightly a little bit more, but yeah. for, for our, our guys in the chat that are big fans, I – where Brendan ranks in their favorite offensive lineman lineup. He's good. Brendan's a good dude. So we're looking forward to chatting <laughs> with, with uh, Brendan. Always love having Jeremiah on too. But we haven't, I haven't even seen Brendan since the Iowa game, pregame show before Iowa talking to him. And that's like three months ago that that I thing know. was on. He's been, uh, you know, grinding, getting, raising some money for these facilities, which are huge. And we're going to, he's going to break it down for us. But I mean, in the arms race of college football and you staying, you know, a, uh, a, uh, at the top notch of all of it, you got to stay ahead of that. And so I know he's he's been working really hard of, at raising that money for that facility. So we'll get an update from all that with Brendan coming up here in a little bit. Just got a chance to catch up with Bella Cravens at, after last night's thrilling victory at PBA over a top five Indiana Hoosier team. Huskers now have two major wins on their resume as we get ever so close to the month of March and all the madness that comes with that. And we always have phone lines and text lines open for you, 402-413-2400. Love to converse with you if you have some thoughts about Husker sports here tonight. Back with uh, Brendan Stye. That'll be coming up here in just a minute. We can tell you that the Sports Highly Hotline is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. Be Stye coming up next. When it comes to style and safety, the 2021 Mazda CX-5 has it all. From effortless performance and control to sophisticated technology features like iActiveSense, a suite of safety features that come standard. Plus, when you shop with Woodhouse Mazda, our friendly sales staff will help you shop, finance, and buy your way. Whether it's in-store or online, view our inventory at one of our two convenient Woodhouse Mazda locations or at WoodhouseMazda.com. It's Ford Truck Month. Now's the time to get a great deal on the only trucks built Ford Tough. Work or play, get after it in a new Ford F-150 or Super Duty truck. Get behind the wheel of a new Ford Maverick pickup. And get after any adventure with deals on Ford Ranger. Take advantage of our best offers on the full Ford lineup of trucks. But you better get going. These deals won't last. Get to Ford Truck Month. Let's get after you. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, 
and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots, and we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Hey, Husker fans, join us tomorrow at 6 p.m. for a special hour of sports nightly. Dr. Lawrence Chatters, the Nebraska Executive Associate Athletic Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, joins Jessica Cootie and Huskers men's gymnast, Khalil Jackson. Midway through hour one, Dr. Chatters will take your live calls as we discuss Black History Month right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Tune in your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or via the Huskers mobile app. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Huskers fans, it's time to plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Single game tickets are on sale now at huskers.com forward slash Ireland. Start the 2022 season in the best way. Plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Buy your single game ticket today at huskers.com forward slash Ireland. Did you ever buy something and get more, more than you expected? Emeritus offers insurance, employee benefits, and financial services, but we deliver so much more. The comfort of a human voice when you need it. The confidence of flashing a beautiful smile the relief that your family can keep living the life they love. The serenity of knowing you've planned well and can enjoy life. That's what we really deliver. We call it fulfilling life. Emeritus. Insurance, employee benefits, financial services, and much more. This isn't the start. Before I got here, I started training. And before that, I did something to my back. But my first move was Athletico Physical Therapy. That's where I'd eventually end up. So why not start there? I mean, my therapist immediately found the source of my pain. These are the same physical therapists who work with elite marathon runners. So soon, I was back to running, but without pain. <sighs> you got this. It all starts at Athletico. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. Did you know that cigarette butts make up a large portion of microplastics in the ocean, which end up in 70% of seabirds and 30% of sea turtles? Bank of the West is helping to solve this problem by not financing big tobacco, proving that what a bank chooses not to finance can be just as important as what it does. Learn more about what we do and don't finance at bankofthewest.com slash change. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Cornerstone Bank proudly serves Nebraska with a full line of loan and deposit products. Cornerstone is large enough to handle all of your financial needs, while offering the personal service you deserve and the local decision-making you expect from a family-owned community bank. Stop in or call one of the Cornerstone Bank locations near you to discover the Cornerstone difference. Bank on a solid foundation. Cornerstone Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Loan subject to approval. Insider Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres Solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie. We've been telling people, Jessica, we were going to get Brandon Stye somehow, some way, and here he is. You made it happen. <laughs> hey, made it. my favorite former offensive guard. There you go. You uh, spot I'll on. leave the tackle I to like Jeremiah. Oh, you can you have go. my favorite guard. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Thanks for being patient with me. Couple months, lots yep. happened. Holy oh, cow! It's been amazing around here, no doubt. Let's start with what's going on outside. This yeah. is the, the progress they're making on the big Go Big projects. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable! You guys have to be happy with where it is. Yeah, we're we're ahead of schedule, and you know, obviously with COVID, it set us back a, a bit. Not only with the construction, um, but also the fundraising. But 
Uh, it's it's incredible. I, m- I remember when we put shovels in the dirt and we had our um, ceremony for breaking ground. We talked about how busy it was going to get out here, and they started off with, you know, maybe twenty five, thirty employees out there working, getting everything you know measured out, and and now you, I mean, it's it, some days it looks like there's ants out there. There's so many people working. So yeah, they're ahead of schedule, and so we're really excited. It's it's an amazing facility that's going to um, be unmatched. As you're uh, going around helping to fundraise, it, it, there's such a buzz around this football program right now. Are you feeling that as you're talking to, to donors and people that want to be a part of this this project? Yeah, and, and the people that are involved with it are very passionate. And so they, they're constantly wanting more information. Uh, but uh, when it, anything comes out with Husker football, Husker athletics in general, uh, people are, are very inquisitive. And um, the, the buzz is around, you know, obviously this recruiting class and the portal and it's certainly with Go Big and how that impacts that. So, um, yeah, there's never a dull moment when it comes to dealing with our donors. Again, visiting with Brendan Stey, Director of Development for uh, Nebraska Athletics. And also you hear him with us here on the Huskers Radio Network uh, football broadcast. A lot's happened with the staff. I mean, a big changeover with the staff. Your thoughts about what Coach Frost did with the staff? Yeah, I'm sure, you know, it was a very difficult moment and decision Scott had to make, but uh, sometimes change is good. And I think uh, fresh eyes, a fresh perspective on, you know, what is right now the state of the union of Nebraska and where they want to go. So bringing in, um, you know, the coaches that he did, I think starting with Whipple, I mean, here's a guy that's been doing it for a long, long time. Did it with Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, your your um, franchise. Yeah. yeah, he's got a lot of experience. And uh, so when you have somebody like that, I, I, I truly believe it lends to kind of taking some of the pressure off of Scott. And if you look at uh, kind of, I think his plan, his strategic plan moving forward is to kind of unplug a little bit more from the daily grind of you know offensive coordination to getting a better feel of the team, uh, being more involved in, 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 you know, really kind of involved with our donors and dealing with the media. And it's really a hat that Scott's not worn to this point, you know. And so having a guy like Mark and, and developing that trust early on and getting him on board, I thought was huge. And then going down the line with all those guys, uh, Mickey Joseph, you know, his resume speaks for itself. Uh, he coached at a very high level for a long time in the SEC. And it, it's one of those things to where if were you, you get a guy. Or were you Yeah, guys? so he was a – so he, I was a freshman when he was a quarterback. So okay. I was – I went home for the Thanksgiving game because I was a redshirt freshman. And I watched him get nailed in the sidelines on the on the bleacher bench there. Uh, where he got hurt, yeah. and that was really I, my last memory of Mickey. You know, but he and I had a chance to to meet uh, again and and reconnect. Um, but a guy like that, obviously, with his uh, ability to coach and hold guys accountable, and really, you know, challenge those guys on a daily. And nobody's ever comfortable with a position. Um, and he's got quite the room now. I mean, he's got quite a. I don't know. I think there's 15 guys, 16 guys in that room now, which is you know, three or four than more than your usual. Uh, but also the recruiting aspect of it. Um, he's going to certainly have his uh, his presence down in the South. And then, you know, I think being and helping Barrett Rood with Nebraska is going to, uh, I think it's going to be critical in not letting some of these guys get out of here. And then with Donovan Raley, I talked with Donovan a day after he got the job. And here's a guy that I've got a little bit of a connection with just because I played with Dominic. Mm-hmm. And uh, Dominic and I played in Detroit together. Um, but knowing, uh, kind of understanding his background, being an offensive lineman, playing at Wisconsin, having that that mindset of, you know, just wearing teams down and getting back to kind of fundamentals, and I really appreciated his his just his respect for Nebraska offensive line over the years and, and really what Milt Tenniper and Dan Young had done over the years and going out and buying the assembly line book and finding it. It's kind of hard to find nowadays. Um, but really taking a, a good hard look of the fundamentals of what made Nebraska offensive lines uh, through those those great decades. And so really embracing that and then kind of his mentality on, on how he recruits and and really his uh, you know his acumen that he brings to you know playing the game of offensive line. You've been on coaching staffs before. You're familiar with a lot of these guys. What's the process like right now as these guys have not worked together, but they're kind of meshing some things and, and figuring mm-hmm. out how this offense is going to look before you hit the ground running with with practice number one in spring ball? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's not an easy task. Um, I did it when I was with Bo Pelini and his staff. Tim Beck took over as the offense coordinator, so we completely changed the paradigm as far as what we wanted to be offensively, and it took us a good three, four months. Mm-hmm. And I mean, past spring ball 
into summer to really kind of identify who we were personnel wise, uh, what fit that personnel, and then you know obviously having it uh, take effect on uh, Saturdays. And so it's not an easy process. On top of that, you're recruiting, uh, you're trying to get to know the players, building relationships at the same time, building a a culture and a relationship amongst coaches. And so you got some guys, obviously, that are still here, some new guys coming in. So it's getting to know each other. Um, it takes time. It just doesn't happen overnight. So, But uh, I think, you know, on top of Whipple and, um, you know, uh, getting Mickey in here, uh, Bill Bush has been doing it a long time. Heck, he was doing it when I was here. He was a GA. It was where it started. I've known Bill for a long time. He was sneaking yeah, in the Yeah, he was stadium. saying that he was pretending to be coaches in coaching <laughs> right, outfits right. and just waltzing onto the sideline at Oklahoma and Kansas exactly. State. And yeah. So, you know, I think uh, he's a testament to a guy that, uh, you know, he really just, he stuck it out. Because uh, there was a point in his career, um, I can go into a long story about it, but <laughs> Coach Osborne gave him his first start, you know, and he could not get um, anybody to really give him that opportunity. And, you know, um, you know, once Coach Osborne put him in position to, to get something, uh, you know, he didn't turn back, you know. So uh, Bill's been doing it the right way for a long time. He brings a lot to the table when it comes to recruiting. He had obvious uh, resume of guys that he's, he's recruited. And he's coached everywhere, you know. So having a guy like that, you know, I think uh, just outside looking in, gosh, what a career. I mean, how hard is that to go from school to school to school to school? But by the time you've marinated all those years in all those schools, it's much easier to make those transitions in trying to get that chemistry together and figure things out. So I think with Bill, obviously the recruiting side and the, and the special team side, Bill last year obviously was here for uh, as a consultant, mm -hmm. and so you know he would get to meet with the guys in the meeting rooms. We didn't lead the rooms. Uh, certainly had his opinion on you know what type of uh, philosophy they were approaching the special teams play. But it's one thing to coach in the meeting rooms and then be out on the field. And so I think with his presence on the field now, holding guys accountable, and more importantly. Asking those guys that are superstars, hey, listen, you got to wear a lot of hats here. The more you can do, the more the, those guys, if, if your plan is to go to the next level, they look at that because a lot of times, especially the skill position, in order to make it at the next level, you got to play special teams. Yep. And so, really holding those guys accountable, uh, being out on the field is going to be huge. And so, really looking forward to watching him blend and uh, flourish as a coach here. And then Apple White, I don't know Apple White at all, um, but certainly just reading about him and the things he. He's done. He's already made a splash with some some big guys getting in here. So it's important. Yeah, Brendan Sai again, our guest here on Sports Nightly. Let's talk the portal. I think I think the number is eleven right now. It might be twelve. Eleven, I think, is the number for guys that have come yep. in the program. You comfortable with that number? I mean, this is a totally different thing that we've never dealt with before. Yeah, it's free agency. Uh, when you're kind of making the analogy between NFL and college athletics, uh, m much more difficult for coaches now because. Uh, the portal, there's a lot out there, but it's hard to identify, you know, exactly, you know, why they're in the portal, first and foremost. And then from there, how does that plug into your system? Where's your needs? And so, you know, I think the portal's great. Um, one of the things that I'm concerned about is one and done guys, you know, bringing in a guy that's only got one year of eligibility. What I like about this year's portal class is we got a lot of guys with two and three years. So you have the ability to, you know, Maybe a guy doesn't start right away, but he develops into something that uh, you know fits the mold and what you're doing. So it's difficult, no doubt. The portal has changed the game. How big is it, though? I mean, two quarterbacks, you get some depth in that room and some competition. How mm -hmm. important is that for a football team? I think the quarterback position with the portal is, is really, really important because now you've turned it into – if one beats out two or however that shakes up, you got three guys in a room, they're all competing for the starting job. You know, all of a sudden the guy gets a starting nod, the second guy's in line, and now the third guy, who's probably as good, maybe, you know, I mean, he's right there, but not on the depth chart. Now there's a guy who's gonna leave probably. You know, so that position with the portal is probably one of the most important. And then you talk about skill positions, you know, like with the receivers room. There's a lot of talent in that room. You know, and, and only a few guys can play. You know, I mean, maybe a handful of guys are playing and then those other guys. So what I think makes the portal difficult is not only do you have to recruit high school players and then you have to solicit uh, some sort of need there for a portal guy to, you know, contact you. But once they're in, now you got to keep recruiting them. You know, so you recruit out of high school, you recruit through the portal, and then when they're here, you constantly have to make these guys happy. So it's this, yeah. it's this never-ending cycle. And, 
you know, you're seeing a lot of coaches bow out. Um, they're not a big fan of it. You know, they're walking in different directions, giving it all up uh, altogether. But um, it's it's an interesting deal. I think it's exciting because um, it adds a little bit of an element like a basketball where you turn over a roster right away and you bring in a guy. Football's not that way. But the portal kind of adds that a little bit, and it's the free agency that we're talking about. We could keep him here probably all day. I know. You know amazing stuff. <laughs> we do get a lot of questions about you know this facility. Sure. And there, you had told us before we had started uh, talking that – you're going to keep some things under wraps. You're not going to mm -hmm. let the competition know that. But mm -hmm. for the fans listening in, can you give a little bit of maybe a little insight oh. that, that's going to be in there? Well, I'll just kind of break it down. It's uh, The facility is going to be about 350,000 square feet. Wow. And roughly about 70% of that will be for football. So we're going to have a brand new weight room. We're going to have a brand new locker room. All the coaches' meeting rooms. We're going to have um, you know, one of the probably the biggest things right now. We share our therapy room, right? So the guys, when they get hurt, uh, they go in there and they get taped, but we also share it with all sports for major injuries. So any sort of hydrotherapy that you're doing, any sort of high advanced technology uh, is in that room. So you're sharing that space with volleyball, with baseball and everybody else. Now this athletic training room is gonna be all our own, right? So it's gonna be football's own athletic training room. And so with that being said, um, it just, I think it, uh, it bodes for, a a little bit different culture, you know, because you'll hear this a lot um, on the football team. There's there's two different groups that hear everything, and that's your trainers, right, and your strength and conditioning trainers, yep, right, and so they're around the guys the most. And so when it's limited because there's other people in there, you know, I don't know if that creates something or not, but I've never been a part of a mixed use uh, facility. So we'll have uh, our own athletic training facility, um, some innovative things that. Uh, you know, I think uh, are going to be, um, you know, cutting edge. Nobody's doing. And I talked a little bit off the air about it, but it's going to, uh, you know, the, the word will get out eventually. Uh, Nebraska has always been innovative. Um, but let me just put it this way. It's going to be a dedicated space uh, for teaching and, and a lot of technology involved with that. Uh, so on the 30% side of what we have, uh, which makes our facility very unique, is the fact that we'll be able to share it with all athletes. When I was recruited back in 1989, that's a long time ago. Um, one of the th Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, literally and figuratively, <laughs> man. Um, yeah, so one of the things that attracted me to Nebraska was the all-inclusivity. Um, you're sharing an experience over four or five years, whatever it is, with all athletes. So you're sharing the training table. You're sharing... Um, the weight room, in essence, you know, back then we shared a little bit with other sports. Um, everything, you know, your, your study hall, everything shared there. So we're going to take that, that footprint and move it over to this new facility. And what's unique about our facility, a lot of schools don't have th this opportunity, is it was almost like, you know, they were thinking – 100 years ago when they put that track down, right, that eventually they're going to move the track because it fits like a glove yes. right next yeah. to this stadium. Most facilities, most universities don't have the ability to do that. And so they're brick and mortar football, they're brick and mortar basketball, and then the stadium's over here, and then the arena's over here. So a lot of the, the sports really are going to come and go right next to the stadium. And it, we do that now. Yeah. It's on the west side of the stadium, and in this time of year, it's the coldest place on planet Earth to walk up and down, <laughs> right? But more naturally now, as this will, will turn out, um, as the students come from campus and class, they'll naturally integrate from – you know, the horseshoe right here. And so with all that being said, put together, um, I think it just really kind of puts Nebraska right back on top where we were many years ago when I was first being recruited. Great Can we get you. a little red uh, impersonation? Oh. I've been telling people... <laughs> <laughs> Was that, are we doing Facebook? Here? <laughs> yeah, we're streaming live on YouTube. So uh, I've been telling people um, your little red impression's the best. Yeah, I try my best. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Great seeing you guys. Um, you guys have a wonderful upcoming baseball season. Yeah. I know you're hitting the road. And hitting the road. All that good stuff. So Very good. Good seeing you guys. Thanks. Brendan Stein with you us here it. on Sports Night. Buckle up. Put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. More of the show coming up is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. 
Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. If I won one of the eight new trucks the Nebraska Lottery is giving away in Trucks and Bucks 2022, I'd be off-roading all the time through muddy riverbeds, across dusty prairies. I'd treat that truck like a tank. I'd be merciless. Can I ride along? Only if you wear shoe covers to protect the carpeting. Promise not to eat or drink anything inside the cabin. Polish the dashboard when you leave. Trucks and Bucks is back, and you can win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds, one in 336,000. At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Visit Deteau Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DeteauSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Squire swings and hammers this one. Deep left center field, and it is good! A home run for Squire, and Nebraska takes a 1-0 lead in the seventh. Nebraska softball opens week two of the season, Thursday afternoon at New Mexico State. Pre-game coverage begins at 3.50, first pitch at 4 on the Huskers radio network, Huskers.com, and the official Nebraska Athletics app. Husker fans, baseball season is right around the corner. Your defending Big Ten champions want to see you at their games this season. Secure your spot in Haymarket Park today. Season tickets and single game tickets are on sale now. Diamond Deal packages offer nine games for $54 in general admission seating, allowing you to choose nine games from any of the Huskers' 30 home games this season. For more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets today. Go Big Red! Ford has something for everyone. Discover the all-new 2022 F-150 Ranger or Maverick. From the affordable 2022 Ford Maverick to the capable 2022 Ford F-150, all built to help you make the most of your work week or weekend. Our knowledgeable sales team is eager to help you find a vehicle with the features you want. Plus, shop, finance, and buy your way online at woodhouseford.com or one of our three convenient Ford dealerships. When you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul. Not to mention their injury list. Cox. We're sports 24-7. Learn more at cox.com sports. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? Well, even longer term than your first ride on the Gravitron at the county fair. And even longer term than the line to buy the corn dog you definitely shouldn't have eaten before you got on the Gravitron. Oof, so long-term. Hi, it's Nick Luxinger from Dakota Mac. Give me a call at 402-740-6445 to learn all about our competitive rates on 30-year fixed rate loans. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. Time now to see what's on tap, presented by Bud Light. Oscar women's basketball will be in Penn State to take on the Nittany Lions on Thursday night, 6 o'clock first 
is tip off with pregame coverage beginning at 545. The Husker men back in action on Friday night hosting the Maryland Terrapins. That will tip at 8 o'clock at PBA pregame coverage at 7. And Husker baseball starts their season on Friday as they'll take on Sam Houston State first pitch at 630 down in Huntsville, Texas with pregame at 6 o'clock. That is what is on tap presented by Bud Light. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you. How much fun was that? I just missed that guy. I haven't seen him in like three months. I know. And literally you could ask him about a million things, you know? I mean, there's so yeah. many things you could talk to him about because he's been a coach. So you could ask him about the coaching situation. He's been a player. He played in the NFL. You could ask him about the Super Bowl. And then, oh, by the way, he's, he's raising money. One of the experts on what this yeah. new facility is going to look like. So, yeah, I mean, he, he knows a little bit about everything. One of the topics we got into with him was the portal. Crypto is not a fan. He said, I'm not used to the portal. Too many players can be one and done. It is very hard to build relationships with players if they keep transferring i do not like it crypto's not alone i don't think people like it it's a change to college sports but i'm i'm proud of what scott frost is he's kind of embraced it i think he knows this is where it's going to go we got to take advantage of it i think you have to because you know the thing is is you know a lot of times this these talented players were going to stay put and wait their turn but now a lot of them are not so you you got a chance to get to upgrade in certain positions to get experience where you need some experience i mean you just never know how things are going to hit your team and and what your needs might be and now it's you you're basically guaranteed you're going to be able to find that need in the portal we've seen this as transfers have been a huge part of college basketball for decades football's just kind of getting to that and uh, that's a good segue into some some basketball talk last hour was our women's show coach love was in with matt cody they had a bunch of texts on they got they didn't get to all of them carl in fact sent one said as far as not being ranked the team should embrace that and be the stealth basketball bombers and keep peeking right into the big dance and have the other teams wonder where that came from go huskers she's right just use it. Don't let it bother you. Maybe motivate you a little bit. The rankings just, I mean, it's, its um, look, if they keep winning, like like we talked about in the first segment, the, these committees love teams that are on a roll going mm-hmm. into the postseason. So if they've, you know, rattled off several wins, win a couple in the Big Ten tournament, which is always, you know, big resume builder, they're going to be just fine. And they're going to get um, where they need to be. It's just, you know, we've heard – Coach, you talk about it several times. Unfortunately, the rankings just don't mean much for women's basketball. People aren't paying attention to them. It's all about those net rankings, right. which Nebraska is, still has a very good ranking right in those net rankings. We talk so much about it in college football. Don't worry about the rankings. It's all about the college football playoff poll once that comes out. I think both and most sports polls are overrated. Last night, though, we'll use it because it was against number Absolutely. five, Indiana. What a fun night at the PBA. Yeah, and, and it takes care of, imse- of itself, right? I mean, the more you win, the the more it's just going to take care of itself. I mean, the rankings don't mean anything now, but a- absolutely that one will help what they did last night. And you notice all the different March Madness social media accounts, a lot of different accounts, uh, you know, paying attention to that, quote, tweeting, putting out the content. And everybody doing their part it, it wasn't just one player was the star of the show and even Bella Cravens came up with some big time plays down the stretch sure she drew did. the charge had some big rebounds and so I got a chance to talk with her after the game about the big win what a win how fun was that locker room just oh, now it is so fun that's my favorite part of big wins how big was this one for you guys coming into this one at home, Indiana, top five team? I mean, how motivated were you guys to play play well in this one tonight? Um, it was a huge win for us, and we put a really big emphasis on this game and really staying focused to all of our game points and main focuses of the game, but we collectively decided because the last time we played Indiana, we let some things slip away with from us so we collectively decided that this is a game that we know that we can win and this is a game that we were going to win how about the effort on the defensive end how important was that oh it was huge it was our number one point for the game what went into that what went into you guys kind of locking in defensively tonight we know that the best games that we've played we have led from the defensive side and that's where it started from so again we just collectively decided that if we want to win that's what we have to do what about the effort in the inside, you and Izzy and Lex? I mean, it seemed like you guys were, that was kind of the, the point of emphasis. You wanted to come inside and then let things go outside, right? Was that was that kind of the, the plan going into this one? Yes, definitely. It was to take advantage of our size. We're one of the, I'd say we're a pretty big team. Yeah, size-wise. <laughs> Oh, I mean, just what you guys do inside, I mean, how important is that? And, and the three of you together, I mean, all had big moments throughout this game. 
Oh, it's huge. And having a big post presence opens up the outside. It opens up the three-point line because everybody's sucking in on the on the post on the inside, and then it's just a kick-out three, and we know that our guards are going to knock that down. What's it like for you seeing, I mean, Lex and Izzy and you guys when you're all having a game like you were tonight? It's my favorite part of the game. <laughs> And you had some big time moments. I mean, not even just scoring, but you had some big rebounds. You had you drew the charge down yeah. there. What were you feeling in those moments when your team kind of needed you, needed a, a big play, a big moment at that time? Um, just doing my part. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, playing my role, I guess. <laughs> I mean, and, and there's a lot of people that do that. How important is that? Everybody kind of embracing their role for this team, right? Yeah, it's amazing. It's a great team to be a part of. What about Sam Hybe and, and, you know, it was like a five-point game, Indiana kind of get, having some momentum, and she kind of took over there, had two huge baskets. I mean, how would you describe her ability to kind of take over games when you guys need it the most? That's just what she's known for. That's all I know her as is she is so clutch anytime. She is always there when we need her. She always shows up. She makes the big plays offensively and defensively. That's what Sam Hybe is. And then just uh, moving forward, we've seen a lot of pressing on you guys, some, some teams throwing some presses. Do you feel like you guys are getting more comfortable in kind of handling that? I think we definitely are because we weren't in the beginning, but um, we put an emphasis on that in practices and things like that, and we're trying out a bunch of different press breaks, so I think that we're definitely getting more comfortable with it. How about the ovation you got coming out of the game? I mean, it was, happened right at the tee, but you were starting to get an ovation from this crowd. How special was that for you? I loved it. I loved every second of it. I love playing in this arena. I love playing in front of these fans. It is it makes it so much, so worth it. This effort tonight, how can you guys build off of this and, and use this to propel you to close out the regular season? We know what it takes to win, especially against the top team in the conference, but they're also number five in the nation, and if we can beat them, we can beat anybody. Last thing I got for you, what would you say to Husker Nation, the way they showed out tonight? I mean, I think this is the loudest I've heard PBA all season long, just the way they showed up to support you guys tonight on Valentine's yeah. Day. And they were in it, and they were cheering the whole time. How important was that for, for you guys pulling out this win? Oh, they're a big reason of why we pulled out this win. That energy, their support, it's a huge reason of why we were, we were even able to do what we do today. And I'm so grateful for it. <laughs> Go Big Red, right? Go Big Red. <laughs> Bella, great game. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah, five different players and double figures. And then, you know, Ashley Scoggin hits two huge threes. She has six points. And, and Bella's big uh, plays that she had down the stretch. I mean, it was a, a team effort. They're going to need that, you know, moving forward to make a run in, in the Big Ten tournament and the NCAA tournament. Right. Bigger days are ahead. That's the thing. You've put, they put themselves in position to have a fun, fun march. So we hope they continue that role again Thursday night at Penn State. 6 o'clock tip for that matchup. 402-413-2400. Need to step aside work in our final break. We're back to wrap it up next. Happy Monday, everybody. Yay! Sure glad the weekend is over. I know. Nothing's better than a new work week. Yay! The proceeding was a dramatization, but it could happen now that a Monday night Powerball drawing has been added. Along with the Wednesday and Saturday night drawings, now you can also win Monday night millions. Who knows? It may change everyone's view of Monday. Let's have a three-hour Monday meeting. Yay! Powerball from the Nebraska Lottery. Top prize odds won in 292 million. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Don't let the cold winter worry you. As Nebraska's leading supplier of propane, you can count on Sap Brothers to keep your family warm this winter. You're like family, and your safety is the number one priority of Sap Brothers. When it comes to your propane needs, Sap Brothers has you covered. Visit www.sapbros.net slash petroleum to find your local Sap Brothers propane expert. Celebrating 50 years of fueling America's heartland and welcoming guests, Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. 
So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. We make car buying easy at Woodhouse Chevy in Missouri Valley, Iowa, where we have a full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. See what Chevy has to offer and explore the 2022 Traverse, Blazer, or Equinox. From solo missions to a party of five, our SUVs are dressed to impress with spacious seating and cargo areas so everybody can enjoy the ride. Find new roads in-store or online anytime at WoodhouseGM.com. Back at our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Final few minutes of the program. Still time if you want to jump on board, 402 402- 413-2400. Dennis on our text line for the Oscar women to get in the tournament. Do you think they might look at Nebraska's road losses as a hindrance? I think they're ex- clearly in the tournament. I, and the road losses have been to good teams. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And those don't hurt. You know, they have the quad ones, the yeah. quad twos. And, you know, if you lose on the road, it just doesn't hurt you as bad. Um, and Michigan State, you know, is looking like it's not a bad loss. You know, they're right there in the middle of the, of the okay. pack. And they might still make the tournament right. as well if they're a tournament team so yeah. it's not that bad of a loss and then now, the, if you lose to a penn state that yes. would be probably hurtful you can't lose a bunch of these next few games because these are the bottom tier right. teams but you know i fully expect this team to take care of business and then yeah they'll be they're they're in as long as they do that nebraska 811 says go dig red before you dig always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked it's free it's easy it's the law. I'm traveling tomorrow with baseball. We're heading down to Texas to open the season on Friday. And you got a big show lined up for tomorrow. Yeah, so Dr. Chatters, Lawrence Chatters is going to be in. It's Black History Month, and uh, we have Khalil Jackson. So uh, if you were on Twitter at all, what, last weekend or a couple, uh, couple weekends ago, Simone Biles was here. And uh, Khalil Jackson and her are really good friends because he came up through, he was part of Team USA and, and junior teams, uh, junior representative teams. And so he's got a a really great story and um so we're gonna have him on the show and then dr chatters will be here live and would love to have phone calls and questions so if you guys have anything you want to talk about dr chatters i know he is would love to hear from husker nation so anything you got for him uh he is ready and willing so that'll be about 6 30. okay very good that'll be tomorrow night here on the program full show tomorrow then no show thursday because of women's basketball and then friday's is crowded because some of our affiliates will be carrying baseball men's basketball plays at eight that means you have an hour of sports Saturday leading up to kent and jake taking over at seven o'clock so we got it all kind of going different directions on a Friday night for uh, that show. So, busy. Is that time of the year? Can you believe you're about to head out for baseball? Busy time of year. It's going to be uh, going to be fun. Roger said awesome updates from the pipeline guy or other, otherwise known as Brendan Stey. I agree. Brendan great. He brought some pictures. We were looking at some some drawings that I they've know. got that it was, thing. That facility is going to be mind blowing and it's going up pretty good it really is he said they're ahead of schedule so that's great yeah great news our sports only hotline brought to you by the woodhouse auto family shop woodhouse first 18 brands 16 convenient locations simplified car buying to save you time shop finance buy online at woodhouse.com that'll put a wrap on our show tonight chuck love great job filling in for amy williams tonight with matt coatney in our women's basketball show dr love Dr. Love. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> they announced him last night at the PA. That was really cool for that as well. Thanks to Andrew and all of you for listening. Have a great night. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Wherever your path leads, the Mazda CX-30 is made to help you follow it. With an invigorating design and elegant cabin, the Mazda CX-30 will give you a drive worth experiencing. Powered by a turbocharged engine, the dynamic performance and premium stitching makes every moment worth savoring. Shop our Mazda CX-30 lineup at one of our two convenient locations at Woodhouse Mazda in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place just off 144th and Giles Road. Online at woodhousemazda.com. 
If I won one of the eight new trucks the Nebraska Lottery is giving away in Trucks and Bucks 2022, I'd be off-roading all the time through muddy riverbeds, across dusty prairies. I'd treat that truck like a tank. I'd be merciless. Can I ride along? Only if you wear shoe covers to protect the carpeting. Promise not to eat or drink anything inside the cab and polish the dashboard when you leave. Trucks and Bucks is back, and you could win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds, one in 336,000. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. Flu season is here, and you can get your flu shot now at your Hy-Vee Pharmacy. It's easy, convenient, and you can schedule your appointment online. Just go to hyvee.com slash myPharmacy. Plus, when you get your flu shot at Hy-Vee, you get a 20-cent Hy-Vee fuel saver. This year, it's more important than ever to stay healthy. So go online to hyvee.com slash myPharmacy today 